So this is three reasons why you need to take pictures and videos after every single cut. How I utilize pictures and videos is a couple different ways. So number one, anytime that I felt down on myself, I feel like I'm not where I'm supposed to be as far as like quality wise. I always go back to my old stuff to remind me where I used to be, right? So I see that when I was first putting out haircuts, they were okay. They passed in the shop. They got me through in the barbershop, but they weren't even close to where I am today, right? So that's first and foremost. I utilize the old pictures and videos to basically show gratitude to where I'm at today. So number two, I'm also utilizing pictures and videos to go back and just like when I was an athlete in college or in high school, we always watch game film, right? So I utilize the pictures and videos in my barber career the exact same way I utilize practice and game film, right? Because what I did with practice and game film when I played football was I understood what I did wrong and how I can get better. Some things I understood what I did right and I stuck to those things, right? So if I if I read and played the correct way, if I, you know, made a specific move to get somebody off me, I was like, okay, that works, right? That works for me. It was natural, but it worked for me. And I began within my game to get a system down. So the same thing I utilize on the field is the same thing I apply now, and you can apply the exact same way. So utilize the pictures and the videos to ultimately, you know, figure out how you can get better, right? A picture and a video, especially a video, a video never lies about a haircut, a hairstyle, whatever the case may be. You may see some dark spots that you didn't see with your own eye. Um, you may see areas where you could have blended, you could have made a transition a tad bit better. And even though you're not deceiving your client, you're only using this to get better. So the next time you service this client, you're like, okay, I remember this was a problem spot for me last time. Even though I didn't see it, this it may be a ridge right here. It may be a little dent right here. Well, I can make this blend to make this fade a little bit more flush than what it was before. But you only gonna know if you have the past result. These past results is what's ultimately gonna get you better future results in general. Lastly, the most, I would say, just as important as the last step, um, this is probably one of the most important parts about taking pictures and videos as well because a lot of people forget to update their portfolio, their portfolio that they have on their booking site, on social media, on you know their Google page, whatever the case may be. They're keeping old pictures up there and they're never showing new clients what they're getting, right? I don't wanna show anybody the 2018 Olympus cuts. I wanna show them the 2024 Olympus cuts, right? I want them to see what they're getting today. I want them to see the service that I'm providing, the end results that I'm providing, and how haircut is just more detailed, more, more flush compared to what it used to be, right? Nobody cares about what it used to be in the past, to be honest, right? I surely don't care about it in, this, in the sense of showing my new clients where I used to be. Like, why would they care? Because we're talking about what you're gonna get today. So. As you get better and you're taking more pictures and videos, especially of those clients that we all have clients that we start to get more comfortable with, we start to understand their hair a little bit better. As you stay, start to take more pictures and videos, utilize those to constantly update your portfolio. And I don't care if you're doing this weekly, monthly, quarterly, but make sure you're updating your portfolio in order to capture the new clients that you wanna brand and market yourself to because they want the results that they're going to get today, not what it used to be. So very simple, make sure y'all take y'all pictures and videos overall. And make sure y'all comment below if y'all got any more questions as to how I do mine, um, like what I'm using to take my pictures and videos. I'll tag some of the things within the description because I personally don't just use my iPhone all the time, but um, I actually like using the camera for, in my opinion. But um, yeah, just make sure you're taking the pictures and the videos and utilizing it the exact same ways that I told you to do. Make sure y'all comment, subscribe, like, follow me on all platforms at Olympus Cuts. It's all one word on every platform. But yeah, make sure y'all get those pictures and videos. We out.